simply cloud. So we are starting this class move and create during COVID. So in many countries in the world, we have now some kind of second wave. So there are more and more restrictions. We can travel less, we can meet less people and something crazy is going on. That's why we have all this class. We have also this class because of this. Somehow, like everywhere I travel with all these my classes, people have people have so many excuses why they can't create. You know, everywhere I do a class and on every online class, you know, I can't create because it's Saturday. I can't create because it's Tuesday. I can't create because it's Friday. And now during this COVID, like all these people, you know, who are having so many like thousand excuses how not to create and uh, like they are creating all the time just a little it's like oh my god what the fuck like maybe this covid is going like to kill them forever some kind of it's going to stop some people's creation forever because like it wasn't moving like already before covid or it was having like small steps and many excuses before Corona. Like, should I, you know, do you remember before Corona? Should I republish this class or not? Maybe nobody is coming, you know, maybe it's better that I'm not publishing. And now these Corona restrictions comes. You can't travel. You can't travel also inside of your country. You can't reserve hotel. Re hotels are closed. You don't have a restaurant. You're not allowed to touch people. You can be only in group of six people. You need to have the mask all the time. Ah, so it's like, it could be crazy. Like how many of you here, you were in excuses before Corona. So you didn't even start to create. And now it's like, uh, you know, like Chinese wall or Berlin wall or something like, oh my God, it's never probably, I can just eat rice for rest of my life and that's it. <laughs> and I can survive with air. So let's create something. Let's create something today. And um, what is creation? Some kind of, it could be that we didn't have result already before Corona. It could be that we have at the moment less results. Like whole reality is some kind of paralyzed. It's a lot of psychosis outside, you know, like, like this, like it's something outside with all these restrictions, like, <inaudible> like the air is harder somehow. So there is something going on in the world at the moment. It's like, even if you are creating, even if you are creating a lot, even if you are good in creations, maybe, or probably most of you have at least 20%, 30% lower income or lo less creations or less activities somehow. And some people maybe it is going better and still mostly not and there is something that is like slowing something there is something that is stopping something and still what if we don't need to stop what if we don't need to slow ourselves and main way how to not to stop how to not to slow yourself is that you stop depending on results what if your creations what if what you are being never need to depend on results. How much results are having influence on you? How much results are having influence on your being? How much results are having influence on, on your choices, on your creations? So what if you don't need to depend on results? Mostly we have less results at the moment. Like I canceled magical class in Czech Republic in this weekend. <laughs> so mostly we have less results in this moment. And still, what if this doesn't need to influence our being? And what if your being, your choices, your creation don't need to depend on results? So you are being, you are creating whatever shows up, whatever results you are having at the moment. 
you are still choosing it. You are choosing to be the future that you would like to create. You are still, you still keep on going. You still keep on choosing. You are still following the energy, how to be it, how to create it. So what if you don't need to use smaller results or no results to stop yourself now? What if they don't need to win? And you can choose to be beyond. You can choose to be something amazing now. Even if you don't have results, even if you have smaller results, you can be it. You can choose the future of this planet that you would like to create. And you can choose it now. You can allow yourself to be it now. Everything can go wrong in your life and you can be it. And this is creation. This is true creation is what you are being. True creation is your draw, your happiness with everything on this planet. Creation is not about results. It's about how much you are happy, how much you enjoy this planet, how much you enjoy this planet with your body, how much you can choose it now. And you don't allow anything to stop this. You don't allow anything to stop this. Okay? I was like in these days, like two days ago, to motivate myself, I was watching a movie from Africa. It's a Netflix movie on Africa. Maybe I, I, I'm going to find it and then I'm going to publish it in, in Telegram group. It's a movie from Africa, how like one boy was inventor and they were very poor in Africa. They didn't know if they are going to survive the year because it was totally dry year. There was no rain for too long time. And like, we don't appreciate what we have. We don't see what we have. And we are making it wrong. Like in Europe, because we are losing 10 or 20% of our life somehow, it's a big problem. And we don't see what we have, how much amazing life we have. We don't see that our apartment is still warm and you still have food in the fridge. We don't see it. We don't appreciate it. We are some kind of ignorant fuckers, something like that. Somebody is taking 10% of, of your life and it's already a big deal. So what if we can recognize more what we have? And so you can open yourself to gratitude, so you can open yourself to happiness. What if what you have lost with this corona, what if you have lost with this COVID, it's not so big deal. We are losing something, you can do everything. Like now the moment that I travel to another country, I need to be double secret agent. I dress myself like Nik Nikita. <laughs> and I'm trying to cross the border and trying to find a, a good excuse why I'm crossing the border, you know, in Europe when we don't have borders. So it's like, it's crazy. And still like how much we can recognize how happy we are, how much we can, rec how much we can allow ourselves to be grateful and how much we can sh share this with people now, how much we can bring this energy also like to people, like how much we can be this bringing of gratitude and happiness now when it's required to bring happiness and gratitude. Like in this psychosis, which is outside, this is what people are creating. They are just depressed. What if you don't need to buy this depression and you are choosing happiness and gratitude and you see it in small things? Maybe you can't travel so much at the moment. Maybe you can't go to another part of a country. Maybe you need to wear a mask outside. Maybe you need to be in your apartment for a whole day. So fucking shit, find happiness in this. Find gratitude in this. Like you need to masturbate whole day. So fuck. Then masturbate for a whole day. <laughs> so find some happiness in this. Find gratitude. Choose it. Be it. And this is how you are bringing it to the world. And it's, it's like we just need to choose it now. We need to be this now because like now it's even more required that you are choosing to be happy, that you are grateful and that you see happiness in small things, how much you can bring this to human population who is now in problems, who is now depressed, who is now afraid 
and you can share this energy. You can bring it. It's like bringing this energy. It's about sharing this energy. You don't also need don't you don't need to do it with physical movement, because then you can get into physical danger. <laughs> Somebody can beat your ass if you go too close. So, do, like, explore how much you can in, be in invitation on distance to people. Yes, we are still here. We still have bodies and we have amazing planet. Let's create something, and you can share this energy with the world, and you can explore how to share it more, how to have bigger invitation. And also like in all these restrictions, if you need to do a business, explore how to do it. So like explore what are restrictions in your country, what are restrictions on your continent and explore how to do it. So maybe now you can do some more online activities because so many people are in front of computer. It's crazy. Like. On my online classes, I had like more people during the summer or du during the spring when we had COVID than in or, or like ever before altogether, somehow. People were just on computer. So now is the second wave of, of that people are going to be too much on computer. So just make new online activities. Just make more online activities. Just change the world online. And then also there are restrictions in a way like you can't have so much group gatherings. You can't like have like in some countries we have at the moment, you can't have more than six people. You can be really happy because you have never, you never had class, access bus class with more than six people. So it's not a problem for you. <laughs> How many here you don't have any problem with six limitation because you never had more than six so it's not a problem six is not a problem so also like like hotels in many countries hotels are closed so one of the ways how you can do classes how you can do access bars classes you can do family access bars classes so you can still travel if it's a business trip you can still travel to another part of, of your country if you have the right paper and you just can do access bus class to a family don't do it to more than six people so you can do you can do it to one family to two adult people and they can maybe invite to another adult friends or even three or four and you can have already like two four or six paying participants and maybe some child and it can be already a big class so like what if you can create family access bars classes and it's just one of the ideas what you can get when you ask yourself what can we create now what can we create with all these restrictions so more online classes smaller classes in person more private classes in person so you are doing it in a house of somebody or your house smaller classes online classes online creations and uh, like somebody wrote here, family don't pay, like not your family, other other family, not your family. Don't do classes with your family. They're not going, going to pay. <laughs> so do the class with, with your like clients who, who were already trying to get to find your access bus class. Do, do the access bus class with their whole family. Yeah. Thank you. Somebody already found the the vid the, the, the movie in the chat. The boy who harnessed the wind on Netflix. So it's the title in the chat. The boy who harnessed the wind is a beautiful movie on Netflix. It's about a young boy in Africa. It's good to watch it so you can be more grateful for your life. <laughs> So like, what can we create? So how much you can be something amazing now, something super creative, something too much invitation, total gratitude for everything that we have, total happiness, whatever show, shows up, whatever you have results at the moment. And what if you don't need to go into any conclusions, how terrible, how bad it is. It, it is terrible, it is bad, it, it is fucked up. And still we can go into the question. And 
what is the main question? Like many people would like that everything is changing for them. So they don't need to be the change. What if we can include more in the question how we can be the change now? What can I be now to create too much? What can me be now to create too much? What energy, space and consciousness can I be now to create too much? What if you allow yourself that you are changing and you are not asking everything to change without you changing? What if you choose more that you are changing in a way now that you are creating more? So what can I be now to create too much? What energy, space and consciousness can me and my body be now to create too much? What is now required that you are being for bigger creations? And how much you can allow yourself to be this? How much you can allow yourself to be this? And we can use this to create too much. We can use everything what is going on to create too much. Like now is the time, now is the time more than ever. And it's real choice and you can be anything. So you can hide now. You can use this corona to hide even more. So nobody's ever going to find you. Or you can use these times to show up even more. And to make your creations really unstoppable. Because if you cre can create during these times when it's a little harder, after these times, there is volcano of creation coming. And then you will not be able to stop it. So what if you can follow the energy? How you can create a little more now? during Corona, and then when Corona stops, a volcano is coming, the tornado of creations is coming, and you will not be able to stop it. So let's create more, let's create too much. So what can I be now to create too much? What energy, space and consciousness can me and my body be now to create too much with everything in my life? How can I be the too much that I can truly be? You can allow yourself to be this. And what, what we are doing usually in our life, we are too much duplicating other people. We are too much duplicating other people. And like, we are just waiting what other people are going to do and then we can, we can be it and we can do it. So like, we are mostly followers. Okay, sorry for this information. We are mostly ships. So um, like um, now is the time when you need, to, you, you need to start to be more like a shepherd. Is it a shepherd, this leader of ships or something? We like earth require more shepherds. And how to be more like a shepherd is that you, that you allow yourself that you stand on the back feet of the ship <laughs> and you put your front feet up. <laughs> so, and you become a ship which is like higher ship. So, um, instead of duplicating others or waiting what other people are going to be and create so you can choose it, what if you can allow yourself to be something totally new, something different on this planet? How much you can open space to this? That you allow yourself to be something new on this planet? How much you are all the time creating and recreating what other people have created until now? And what if you can allow yourself to be now something totally new? And you can be a question, I know it's too simple, what energy, space, and consciousness can me and my body be to be something that was never on this planet before? How much can we bring something new to this planet? How much can we bring some new energy to this planet? So what energy, space, and consciousness can me and my body be to be something that is totally new on this planet? What energy, space, and consciousness can me and my body be now to be something that was never on this planet before? How can I be something totally new now? So what if we can, don't need to duplicate anything anymore and we allow ourselves to be something totally new now? 
but energy, space, and consciousness can me and my body be to be something totally new on this planet. But energy, space, and consciousness can me and my body be to be something that was never on this planet before. And you allow yourself to be this. And with this, you are also immune to human reality. You are not buying stupidity anymore. So what if you can allow yourself to be this? And what if, what if this is how you are the biggest contribution also to this planet? When you allow yourself to be something totally new, and you don't need to wait anymore for, for others to choose something so you can choose it. You don't need to explore the ways how to be similar to others. You can allow yourself to be something totally new. So how much you can allow yourself now to be a leader of new possibilities instead of duplication and follower of others? What if you can allow yourself now to be a leader of new possibilities? So what do you know, amazing being? And what if your knowing is precious for this planet? And it's precious now more than ever before. It's required now more than ever before. It's precious now more than ever before. And you can allow yourself to choose it. You can allow yourself to be it. You can allow your, yourself to share this knowing with this planet. So you are dancing with earth. You can allow yourself to be tango with earth. You can allow yourself to dance with earth. What if you can allow yourself this? What if you can choose this? What can you create? And you don't allow anything to stop this. Do you get how powerful is this? Do you get that you are maybe powerful? Do you get that maybe you know something? Do you get that maybe like you are like, I don't know what to say, something? And how much you can allow yourself to be this now? How much earth is asking for this? And you can share this beautiful energy with this beautiful planet. What if now it's required? What if now, when most of the people are even more stupid than usually, it's even more required than you allow yourself to be what you can be. So you stop being part of the stupids. So what if you can allow yourself to be something different now? So what energy, space, and consciousness can me and my body be to be something that was never on this planet before? What energy, space, and consciousness can me and my body be to be something totally new on this planet? And find a way how to create. Find a way how to invite more people to this. With who can I talk today? With who can I connect today? We need to, we need to, how do they say? Infect, yeah, we need to infect only one person per day, <laughs> even less. So like they have now big problems with Corona because like one person infected more than one person. So that they have big problem already when one person infects Two, two people, they can't stop Corona anymore. They have a big problem with this. So if you infect two person with joy, with happiness, with gratitude, if you infect two people with seeing beauty of this planet, it's already enough, it's unstoppable. Just two people. We don't need to infect totally everybody your job is to infect, let's say, in next two weeks. Let's use this like two weeks every 14 days. They are doing these statistics or these things. Like in next 14 days, your job is to infect two people with virus of gratitude and happiness and joy. And with virus of seeing beauty of this planet. Can you, can you imagine to give them a virus? And they see, wow. I didn't know that I'm living on this planet. This planet is so beautiful. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. This planet is amazing. Oh fuck. 
Am I having orgasms now? Is this orgasms? Oh my God. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. You know, like two people, let's let's make a deal. Two people in the next 14 days. So we have these 14 days. You know, this what they are using in statistics at the moment, 14 days. So if we if we infect two people, every everybody of you, if we infect two people, it's already unstoppable on this planet. And we have a new virus. It's virus of beauty of seeing beauty of this planet you infect them and they say oh my fucking god i didn't know that this is so beautiful here oh my god and my body is amazing oh fuck my body is sexy i didn't know that i'm a sex bomb oh my god i'm turning myself on with my own body oh my fucking god so <laughs> so two per 14 weeks okay it's easy job to get like it's easy job like what can we create if you infect 10 people oh my fucking god like it's it's unstoppable so like what if you can do it what if you can choose it what if you can choose it what can this choice create so with every choice you can be aware of the future that you are creating so many times we think that we need to change the world alone. So it's almost like impossible. <laughs> it's too many stupid people. <laughs> so it's too hard job. <laughs> so what if you don't need to change the world alone? Just infect few people. Just infect few people in next two days. Just make like few people in next 14 days grateful to you for that you show them what is gratitude what if you can open this space to somebody today what if you can open this space to somebody in next days i know that you are willing to do it only for payments payment so <laughs> do it for payment okay <laughs> we were doing it too long time for free now it's time for some payment so do it for payment like let them pay you a lot okay i'm going to make you grateful but you need to pay a lot okay you can do it for payment so you can do it just for payment it's not earth is not having problem with this really so make somebody happy today make somebody happy next two weeks show them what is gratitude show them how beautiful plant we are having you can show them that this is amazingly improving immune system gratitude happiness when we are enjoying earth uh, it's making our bodies alive and we can create so much what if you can be this now what if you can choose this now and what if you choose this now even more when it's really required it's really required at the moment really it's darker outside than usually <laughs> it's really <laughs> required at the moment so do we have some questions would anybody like to say something so i can drink coffee <laughs> Mehek, are you trying to talk? You are unmuted? Oh, no? Okay. Harris. Yes, yes. Lily. Yes. Lily, how yes. are you? Okay, I'm pretty okay. I'm just now in the middle of my job, very busy. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I also would like to say that um, I'm also doing laughter yoga classes because I'm a leader there. Now, the challenge that I see, it's of course my interesting point of view based on whatever I'm seeing. So the challenge I see is that uh, people are not choosing. That's one thing. And second, the other day on Saturday, I had a class and uh, four people were participants. There were three girls and one man. And I could see that while doing the whole exercise, he was 
uh, very apprehensive. And then in the middle of the class, he just left and went away. So my concern is, uh, why are people not choosing it? <laughs> to be happy and to laugh. Can you throw some light on that, please? Thank you. Yeah, so somehow you can allow yourself to be more fle flexible and changeable. So it could create more. So you don't need to depend only on something in the same way. At the moment, it's really like, uh, it could be that people are not choosing something so much what is required, but it's like a hobby. So they would like, because everything is smaller, also they are receiving smaller money somehow people are interested more in direct results, more in productivity, more in the money and not so much something for fun. So you need to use even more this rationalizing of the choices which people have in human reality. Like they can choose something only for direct results. So what if you can, during Corona, you can use some direct results to invite people, something like that laughter yoga for a healthy body, laughter yoga for creation of the money, and more people are going to come. Wow. So okay. people, are, people are so interested in results, really more than just to have fun that is crazy. So they would like just results. So they are also, they are buying something to get results. Just having fun, it doesn't exist for them. Mm. Really like... Okay. It's stupid and it doesn't exist for them. So you are selling something to what people are interested. You are going to sell them fun, just not directly. Okay, so it has to be like you know, you're saying connected with the end result, yeah, what they sorry. would like to yeah. hear. And then it, during Corona, even more than before. Wow. Yeah, so people are, like people now, they are interested even more to direct results. They are also having little less money than before. Many people, not everybody. Everything is more complicated. So now it's more, even more survival mode is even more on than before. Oh, they are okay. even more before. They were all the time in survival mode also before mm -hmm. Corona. Mm -hmm. Now survival mode is stronger. So Laughter Yoga for Healthy Body published this title. Awesome. And Laughter Yoga to Create Money. Wow. <laughs> and you can send me some dividends. You can send me part of the profit. It's okay. Sure. I don't have a problem with this. <laughs> Anything else? God bless. Thank you. Yeah. So always go to the questions. Never conclude the problem. Okay. And with questions, what can we be now? What can we do now to create more? You can get many different ideas. How you can create your business. How you can change your business now so it's working better. And more your business is movable, movable, changeable, flexible, more you can create. So what is also entrepreneurship? What is creation of businesses? Main thing is this flexibility. So you're not so fixed like people in jobs. So you're changing all the time. So change your business in a way that it's working better. And always explore. You are always inventing something new. You are always exploring something new. Also like, what can you create with like laughter yoga online. What is possible with laughter yoga online? And explore this. Wow, okay. thank you. Thank you. You are magical. Any, anybody Mwah. else, any question? Probably you are also. I have a question, please. <laughs> yes, yes, Karima, just speak. Harris, Enjoy your hi. Oh, well, um, <laughs> so one minute. So my bird is inside. <laughs> oh, okay. It's too dark. My inspiring bird. My yeah. I'm uh, I'm the yard in the yard. Yeah. Well, my question is, uh, even when I want to do something or start a project, other people do it before me, even if I don't talk about it. I just think about the thing and they do it. Then I stop. I can't advance, I can't do it, I can't go ahead. Okay. So, so this is my question. So what to do? So there's nothing really the same in whole universe. So it's not the same. 
is just similar. Can I say something to Karima? Every creation is different. Maybe you can say something. Keshet, is this your class or my class? <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I got some kind of an awareness from okay. you. But yeah, we have also here 200 different ma magical people with awareness. <laughs> okay, can you speak? So here is the, the bird. She, she's having a bird. This is her secret. That's how she gets customers yeah. because so, all the people see? are coming for a session with a bird. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a magical <laughs> one. <laughs> and it's like, it likes my head. <laughs> yeah, Shad, you can just say, just say. I just wanted to say how amazing uh, you are that your thoughts are going all over the world. Yeah. I'm kind of like when you have idea, like many times we are sharing it already before creating it and other people get it before creating it. So what if, like, what if you are much better in energetic creation than in practical creation and you can go to some questions to change this what if you are incredible in creation incredible in energetic creation and you create too fast faster than what you are practicing and you can explore this and just like it's not the same just create like for me, like if somebody is creating something that was my idea like I would just create it I don't see it as the same thing it's just similar. So maybe you see it as, as the same thing because you already decided that you are not good in creation. So when you see something similar, it's making you right. I'm not so good in creation. I have a problem. And then you feel good about yourself because you are right. <laughs> I knew it. I'm so bad in creating. And always do something wrong. I just knew it. So what if it's not true? What if it's just similar? And it's not the same idea. It's not the same creation. So when I create something, when I have idea, when I'm choosing something, it's a, it's a baby. You know, it's a baby. It's a child. It's a small child. And then if I would see that somebody else is having a similar child, I wouldn't kill my child. <laughs> Again, this is how I'm with creation. It's yeah. my child. So I'm when I when I have idea, when I'm starting some project, when I'm starting some class, it's a it's a small child. So even if other people have the same children, the same look of children, this is my child. Exactly. So it's just similar child, it's not the same. So it's your child. When you are creating something, it's a small baby and allow this baby to grow. Okay, sorry that I was using this bad example about killing child, or this point of view, spodom talk. <laughs> but it's so meaningful. Yeah, so it, need, yes. it needed to be extreme yeah. uh, example. Yeah, thank you. Any more questions? Thank you, Harris, thank you. Anything else? Any Hi, Harris. Can I ask a question? Yes. Yes. Well, uh, this is Gabby. I'm a bars facilitator, and um, actually, I'm just starting. And uh, well, people seem to not choose uh, my classes, and um, I I don't know if I'm I uh, perceive some tr truth in what you have said about the energy creation being faster and uh, uh, I'm wondering if it's something that I can do or be different in order to uh, have this creation be more in my life okay. like physical actualization of it yeah so one thing is that you are being something but don't depend on results what we said you are being something that don't depend on results, but doesn't depend on results, okay? Yeah. So you're choosing more, you're choosing beyond whatever you have results at the moment. 
So you don't depend on results. You allow yourself that you are bigger than results. And then if you would like to create with more people, invite more people to your life. So also like what activities, what can I be today and what can I do today is to invite more people to my life. So you are being and doing different activities which are inviting more people to your life. And some of these people are also going to buy your product. So some kind of yes. like, uh, in, in marketing language, we could say like work on your database, like improve your database. So improve your connections with people. Ask for more people to show up in your, in your life and what activities can I have so I can be connected with more people. And more you are connected with more people, more people are going to buy your product. We are, we are also stopping many times the, the energy because we are too much interested just in people who are going to pay. Just improve your database, like open to more connections, invite more people to your life and you are going to have bigger business and you are going to create more money. So how many more people can I invite to my life with how many more people can I be connected? So also do many like this, like free activities or something, free meeting. Yeah, I already started yeah. a program. Yeah. And so. uh, I'm seeing results in energy and uh, what I have, I seem to be contributing to them and they are contributing to me, even though I'm not seeing the actual uh, physicality <laughs> yeah. of it but uh, yeah yeah that seems to be a, a beginning a good beginning yeah results thank are, you results are somehow always a little later it can be also some fast results mostly results are a little later so create create big business create with more people and results are coming Many times people are destroying creation. They are stopping creation because they are expecting results too early. They are not patient. Patience, it can be like a big part of creation. And it's active patience. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I guess it's something like I'm comparing myself with other people. And when I'm doing that, I'm cutting myself for, from all the possibilities. And... Uh, uh, I feel bad about myself. I need to uh, process it and to clean it up, like to be uh, okay with uh, what I'm, what I'm choosing and what I'm creating. Yeah. So I would say that you are. Probably, I don't know if you yeah, are stuck or I am stuck. You are, yeah, you are probably doing something to stop yourself. Because you you have already yeah. decided, like how much are you keeping small life, and how yeah, much you are doing business just as a hobby, and it doesn't work. It's about having big life if you would like to create more. It doesn't work. I need to commit to it. It you just allow yourself to have big life. You can't have small life. You can't be in your fairy tale and expecting big results. So you are using something to stop yourself so you can still keep your small life, you can keep your limited life and it doesn't work, just choose to have big life. What can you lose today to create too much? Allow yourself that you lose your life. It's a fairy tale from the past, yeah. it's Walt Disney. Just lose your life. It's very powerful what we are saying because I, I feel the energy that's already working on it because I never looked at it. Yeah, so like the that. whole planet is waiting for you and you are trying to have life from Walt Disney. What the fuck? Which you don't like, which you hate. You just oh. step out from the fairy tale, grow up and choose to have big life. So Thank you. what are you avoiding to lose that would create too much? How much you can allow yourself to lose everything today to create too much? So How much you are trying to keep your past that you are using to stop yourself from creating too much? And just be dizzy now, yeah. okay? Just enjoy the energy, okay? You don't yeah, have to stop it or to understand it. Hey, just op op enjoy the energy. Anything else? Any more questions? Had it? Me? Yes. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to ask you. 
how do you not make i generally make my creations money minded so how can i change that like nothing is really wrong so also make it about money enjoy it yeah but then you know there is this stuck point of view that i okay you know i'll make money out of this from this bar class so from this can you speak louder please little louder <laughs> yes little more like <laughs> <laughs> how can i not make it money minded like okay you know i'm going to i calculate and i heard one of uh, on one of your calls you said never calculate before it comes so you are calculating because you like to stop creation so oh, creation huh. be and do what is creating more so what if you can be and do today what is creating more without any point of view so you don't want to create more you would like to create create less that's why you are calculating it you okay. would like to create less you are just pretending to yourself that you would like to create more that's why you are calculating yeah. you are doing exactly what you need to know what you need to do so you can stop creation so you are avoiding to create sorry that's why yeah, you are how can i change this i'm stuck on that what can i be today and what can i do today to create too much without any point of view so wow. you're being wow. and doing you. today that is creating too much without any point of view even if you need to Does be vegetarian for to two days <laughs> you're <laughs> being and doing today what is creating too much without any point of view this also Please. applies to end result It's very simple. Just be and do today what is creating too much without any point of view. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. It's too easy. Harris, may I ask a question from the Arabic chat? Yes. Um someone is asking um how can I um invite my daughter to to be the question so she um yeah, so she can uh, do that um in her life as so she is asking for her daughter how can yeah. she um invite her daughter to do that just stop bothering with your daughter and um, you can be a question what can i learn from my children and this is how you can create with your children if you are trying to teach them something that it's not going to work what can i learn from my children So what if they are powerful creators and powerful manipulators and it's better that we are learning from them and not that we are teaching them something so what can i learn from my children and create amazing life really like when we when we are having this question it's usually just excuse so we don't need to create we would like to change whole family we would like to change our children everybody so we don't need to create just stop bothering yourself with others and create and it's just excuse so what can i learn with from my child is one question another question is how can i be the worst mother on this planet that i can truly be what energy space and consciousness can me and my body be to be the worst mother on this planet that i can be and this is the same energy as how can i be the biggest contribution to my child how can i be the worst mother on this planet and how can i be the biggest contribution to my child is the same do you get that it's the same energy the worst mother on this planet how can i be the most worst parent that i can be and what contribution can i be to my children and what can i learn from my child and you are not doing things from them you are receiving from them and you are learning from them and this is how your contribution your contribution to somebody when you are receiving from a person when you are learning from a person so what can i learn from my children and this is how you you more and more recognize how they are potent creators and manipulators and with this they also recognize it more and if you think that there's somebody to who you need to help maybe they are going to start to feel in this way 
So what if they are potent creators? So you are learning from them and they are not somebody who require your help. Many times children are manipulating just to get some chocolate or money. So when they feel bad, they would like just to have chocolate or money. Everything is manipulation. Anything else? Yes, we have a question in the last chat. Um, so after meeting me, my pair, my partner, or over because people are translating you, you know. Uh, yes, sure. <laughs> So, I can understand uh, uh, you, but like not all the translators. Yeah, sure. Um, so, <laughs> uh, after meeting me, partners or my clients are changing their life uh, and it becomes greater. And uh, in my life, everything becomes worse with money, with possibilities. And how can I change it? This Just is one second. Yeah. Just one second, please. Okay. So, yeah, okay. So this one rule of creation is one of the main rule, rules is when something goes wrong, you are creating it. So when everything goes wrong in your life, you are creating amazing life. More it goes wrong, more you are alive. You can also ask yourself like in results, maybe you are creating less at the moment in your life. And you can ask yourself for more awareness, is it more of you or less of you? Did you create, is it more of you now in your life or less of you? Did you create more of less? What if it's just less results, temporary? And what if you, like energetically, you have created more? So then- She said uh, that uh, it creates less. It creates like maybe for Russians it doesn't work. <laughs> this, <laughs> so it's like it can be less results. Also, like what we do, we are destroying. So because we don't have the right results, we are stopping creation. This is what people do. So one of rules of creation is when something goes wrong, it means that you are creating what you are asking for. Creation is with wrong, wrong, wrong. Creation is not with right, right, right. So when everything goes right in your life, it means that you are dying. How many more things needs to go wrong into your life, in your life, that you are creating amazing life? How many more things can go wrong in, in our life to create amazing life? Life creation is about wrong, wrong, wrong. I can ex ex share, share more of this energy. So people, if everything goes right in your life, right, 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 right. What are we creating? You just die. If everything goes wrong in your life, let's explore the wrong, okay? Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. To some people, I need to say it more times. Wrong, 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 totally wrong, wrong, everything wrong, forever wrong, forever wrong, for infinite life wrong, everything is going to go wrong for infinite life and more like double okay with some people i need to do it more so double of the infinite life uh, okay and more hundred times double and more millions times double and more everything wrong in your life wrong 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 it's going to be forever wrong you are going to be failure for whole life for you are going to be like vampire failure, you know, like vampire loser, you know, vampire is infinite life, vampire loser, okay? It's, it's like the vampire locked in the coffin for, for whole eternity. So my life is wrong.
And if you allow yourself to receive this, nothing can stop you. So just allow yourself to receive this. You are a vampire and for in infinity, forever, for whole eternity, you are locked in a coffin. In this box for dead people, okay, coffin. Okay, so this is wrong, okay? <laughs> so it's so much wrong that nothing else can go wrong more than this. Okay, so can you allow yourself to receive this? Oh my God, it's so wrong. I will ne never be able to order pizza again. Oh my God, nobody's going to find me here for whole eternity. For whole eternity, I need to be bored for a whole eternity. I can't even masturbate because the coffin is too small and like, I can't put even hand on my sexual organs. Oh my fucking God. No God, vampire God. So allow yourself that everything goes wrong in your life. And then you're unstoppable. Nothing can stop you. So you're a vampire. If nothing can stop you, you're a vampire. You don't need to have normal human life, but you need to do it right. A house, a job, Tom Cruise as a husband, a dog, a tree, better children. All these things, better car. You don't need to do this if you're a vampire. If you are a vampire, you just go for a walk and you bite somebody. So just be vampire. Anything else? I just, I'm releasing uh, at the moment so much uh, energy with this wrong, wrong, wrong. I have so many trickles in my body and it is so joyful that if you had say, say for 10 times wrong, 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 I will get an orgasm. What is this? So, okay, I, I need to explain, or it's just cool to have orgasm. Like, do you really need to understand? Have orgasm, but I'm I'm enjoying you uh, uh, all the time. You are talking about creation. I I would like to say I enjoy now to do nothing. At the yes. moment, I, I'm I'm happy to have time to do nothing. And this is why I need to make other people also say, okay, somebody was unmuted. Yeah, so this is life, this is life, this is life. So what is the space that is created is that you don't need to do it, okay? You don't need. So before, as part of human reality, you were creating from need. I need to do it, I must do it, why am I not doing it? And blah, blah, blah. Now you don't need to do it anymore. So it's different space. And in part of this space, maybe at the moment you are going to be a little lazy in this transformation, okay? And then you can create from a space, from joy, from choice, from pleasure, not because you need it. Yeah. And this is abundance. This is how you can create from abundance and how you can create much more because need is creating just more need. Mm. And also, but it's with this wrongness, like we don't need to understand it. I was just following energy. I don't know. That is so nice. Please yeah. say, say more. It's yeah, so I, I can explore it now. I can explore it now. What is this wrongness? So somehow, what was the energy of the question? What was the energy of many people here? We are trying to make life right all the time. What we are secretly doing, what many people are secretly doing on this class and also you, you were trying to make people to make life wrong all the time. <laughs> life. So yes. again, you wanted to make it wrong. Life is wrong. I don't like life. I hate life. I was ordering also hot dog today and they gave me ketchup instead of mayonnaise. Life is bad. Life is bad. Life is wrong. And then when I showed you that it can be totally wrong and you can still receive it and you can still be it, you lost it. You lost the complaining unhappy desperate bitch you lost it you can't yeah. complain anymore like yeah. you can't be against life anymore it's just a lie like how much you were against life how much you were unhappy complaining whatever and like how big contribution is is, is to this planet when you stop it 
Yeah. Wow. Happy. And when you are grateful. Mm. And when you are happy, like you are happy just to be alive. Really, like, do you really need to die now then to be happy that you are alive? You know, like people are so stupid that like you need to lose something now to appreciate it when you don't have it anymore. So like, yeah, can you see how amazing life do you have so you can be grateful for it? Or you need to lose it first so you can be grateful. What yeah. are you going to choose? Yeah. So just recognize how amazing life we have and just choose more, ask for more. So how much until now you wanted to prove that life is wrong? Yeah, yeah, all the time. And that it's against you, everything is wrong for you and you are so bad creator. Mm -hmm. Like you published Access Bars class at four in the morning during the night and there was no registrations until on the six in the morning. Isn't it like, <laughs> you know, like you publish a class at four in the morning, you know, how many of, of you here, you publish a class during the night? So nobody can see that you publish the class. It was four in the morning, okay? And then there was no registration at six in the morning. You were waiting for six in the morning and you said, life is wrong. In two hours, I didn't uh, receive any registrations. These access tools, they don't work. Also, maybe it's just for, it works for Harris because he's cute, he's sexy like these things, you know, like for me in two hours, I didn't receive any registrations. Uh, so instead of saying, wow, maybe I'm so amazing. So I'm something from the future and people are not close there to receive me yet. You know, I'm so much like beyond. I'm so much like not understandable for people like they are still not there you know i'm coming so much from the future that like you know like people can't choose it yet yeah what if you can see it in this way wow that's really nice it's really amazing as you talked about right 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 it was so boring a really uh, so so energy uh, really as don't say too much right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's be wrong. 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 I lose it. Yeah. So what wrongness can I be today? Yeah. How terrible can I be today? How bad can I be today to create too much? How much more wrong can I be today? And how much more my life can be wrong? and everything in my life can go wrong and how much more everything in my business can go wrong to create too much wow wow wrong ask for wrong how much more wrong can show up in my life yes oh this is so more of the wrongness what wrongness of human reality can we be now to create too much yes how much can we choose to be happy now? How much we can choose to be grateful now when it's even more required that we choose it? How much we can choose it now? And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Harris. This is amazing. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you. Also, translators are translating other classes. So thank thank you. you very much, Harris. Thank you, Harris. Thank you. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Harris. 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 Thank you,